Hello, friends. I've got five great Microsoft Outlook productivity tips for you today. I get so many responses from the Outlook videos. I know you'll love these. So five and five, let's do them fast. So let's go. We've got first up something I call the drag and drop. Did you know you could take one object like an email and drag it and drop it on these other icon types in this little navigation bar. So for instance, I can grab an email, drag it and drop it on the task. And you know what it does? It actually creates an email, or pardon me, an Outlook task. I've got one ready for you. It embeds the email right inside a new task. So what I can do is simply pick a date and get it scheduled. Boom, it's on my task list. So that's my first one, drag and drop. And it's not just task. You can drag and drop to a calendar and make an appointment. You can drag the email to a contact and make a new contact for that person. Uh, but my favorite is definitely the task list. You can also reverse it. So you could take an Outlook contact and drag it and drop it on an email to start a new email or appointment meeting, anything like that. Okay, so drag and drop, friends. Now a quick part is kind of like template. If you're using the Office, the Microsoft 365 product on the web, you might have started using the templates that they have there. Um, if you're still using the desktop version, when you create an email, you might want to go ahead and save some things to the Quick Part Gallery. So I've got one here open, and here's one. So what I've done is I can select some kind of instruction that I type over and over again, and go to the Insert tab and find Quick Parts. What you can do is save this selection to the Quick Parts Gallery, and then anytime you want to use one of those items, you simply enter back in, insert tab, quick parts, and pick from your list, and then you can drop that content right into your message, and it'll drop it in there. So great uh, use for things that you do over and over and over again, uh, quick part. Okay, now this is my favorite tip ever. So to make this calendar tip work in Microsoft Outlook, you need to first switch to the view that is a single day view. Once you've switched to a single day view, use this mini calendar here and holding the control click key, then you can click additional days. So in this case, say I've I've changed to the single view. I've clicked on Friday the 5th. I'm holding control and then I click the 12th, click the 19th, click the 26th. And what that does is show those dates side by side in my calendar view. Isn't that awesome? So you're not limited to a day, uh, a week, a work week. Uh, or the month, you can actually hold control and pick the exact dates that you want to see. So, hope you like that one. I know that's a big favorite. Be sure and subscribe if you're loving this, okay? Um, this one is, you know, it's frustrating. Outlook does not always give you what you want when you search. Really frustrating. So, what I'm going to recommend to you is when you click in this search bar at the top, you'll notice that what it's done is popped up a search menu underneath on your ribbon. And if you um, click to activate that, because sometimes it brings down a menu and covers this up, you can get into the search tools. What I would recommend is right click on the advanced find and get it up here on your quick access tools. Add it to quick access tools. If you're a keystroke person, control shift F. But what that does is it brings up this particular box. 
And what you can do here is a much more granular search, um, uh, checking for specific things and specific uh, parts of the message. You'll do much better with your search using the advanced find. So um, again, that was uh, control shift F to get that menu if you like the keystroke, keystroke keys or you can add that to your quick access with a right click. I would recommend that you check out quick steps and rules. A quick step is something you can add from the home tab of your uh, Microsoft Outlook and it is something that will take you part of the way. So like if you're going to review invoices and you want to just forward to Susie in accounting, you could add a quick step to Susie in accounting because you do that all day long. You've got to read it first and then forward it. So you'll add a new quick step and say, hey, forward that too, and you add Susie, it'll show up then on the new quick step list. Now a rule is more complex. That's something that has a triggering event and you want Outlook to do the whole thing. Move it into a folder, do something like that. So when you're setting up a rule, you walk through the rule wizard and get it done. Uh, what triggers it? What do you want to happen? Who's involved? All the things and you'll create a rule. Now, since this has been coming up right, it's been coming up a lot right now. I got to tell you, friends, it's August 2023. If you are seeing that try the new Outlook at the top of your desktop version of Microsoft Outlook, don't flip the switch yet. What it does is it makes your desktop Outlook look a lot like the uh, Outlook on the web 365 version. You may not love that, especially if you are a very detailed uh, Outlook user and you like to use a lot of the advanced tools, if you're just reading emails, it's no big deal. Reading emails, responding, no big deal. But if you use a lot of advanced Outlook tools, hold off on this. I think they're going to continue working on this and, and maybe even um, keep our version. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, I added a sixth one if you were counting. That's it for me today, friends. Have a great one. I hope you enjoyed those tips. Bye now.